Hello and welcome to Active Net Bytes. Today I'm really pleased to be joined by both a partner and also a operator. And today we're going to be talking about um, Active Net Scotland in grief, which uh, we did in September and we'll do again in September 24. Uh, but you don't hear to stand here to listen to me droning on. It's more about our guests. So Evelyn, could you introduce yourself? Could you tell us who you are, what you do and where you do it, please? Of course, thanks, David. My name's Evelyn Mayer. I'm the Group Health and Fitness Manager for Sport Aberdeen. So we're based up in the northeast of Scotland. Excellent. Thanks, Evelyn. And Sam? Thanks, David. My name is Sam, and I'm the Business Development Manager from HydroHex, a virtual aqua fitness company. Excellent. And Evelyn, how many sites does Sport Aberdeen operate? In regard to um, health and fitness facilities, we have um, 10 facilities across the city of Aberdeen. Uh, within there, we have nine facilities that incorporate gym floor space and um, mm -hmm. group exercise offerings. And then we also have six pools across the city as well. OK, excellent. So quite a big spread then across the city yeah, of organisations. Yeah, fab. All righty. So, Evelyn, talk to me about ActiveNet. Why did you attend ActiveNet? What did you get from being at our event? Sure. So I guess attending ActiveNet, um, it was something that our uh, managing director, our director of um, community leisure operations, they had attended the year previously mm -hmm. and onboarding as the new group health and fitness manager a year a year now really um ago with sport aberdeen one of the first things when i um, came back into the organization i was met with a a, a list of organization suppliers where mm. um, the director of leisure operations had come back from active net excited about the um you know the networking he had done there mm. um and said right here you go just to kick things off here's a list of people that i want you to reach out to and form some connections with um he had obviously got a lot from that that day mm -hmm. um, and then passed over that you know here's some initial introductions um, and then being able to have the opportunity this year to attend in person myself and um, looking at the list of um, suppliers that were there you know currently um, listed for ActiveNet mm -hmm. this year there were so many suppliers on that list that I had the intention of getting in touch with. I'd had an email sent through. I'd seen that another provider or operator was mm -hmm. in touch or maximizing opportunities with those um, suppliers. But in the busy day to day um, that we're all within, the, you know, the ability to get in a room with those mm -hmm. people, whether it's through a virtual room or in person, um, hadn't, you know, um, arose. So ActiveNet was an, a perfect opportunity to get you know, take some time away from the business and mm. um, really connect with these people and, you know, be surrounded by so much innovation, but also pick up on projects that maybe, you know, I'd, we had had some previous communication around, mm. but again, had started to sort of slow down and, you know, just bring a bit of focus back in. So it was really useful, useful for me from that perspective. And then obviously opened up opportunity to meet new suppliers. Mm.